While the previous generations of the Raj Zephyrus were not as impressive as Asus hoped they would be, the laptops paved the way for Asus and AMD's relationship. From it, we got some amazing devices, such as the Strix SCAR 15G533, the Zephyrus Duo 15SE, GX551, and more. Asus is hoping for a third times the charm moment here, as they have released a new Zephyrus device, in the face of the Asus Raj Zephyrus G15 GA503. It is powered by the Ryzen 5000 series processors, not the U series, but the regular H series, and the RTX 3000 series Ampere GPUs which are just insane when it comes to performance. Today we are presenting you with Laptop Media's top 5 picks about the Asus Raj Zephyrus G15 GA503. Being a part of the Raj lineup, you should expect an amazingly built laptop, and we weren't disappointed at all. The body is built from a magnesium aluminum alloy, which makes the laptop both sturdy and thin, because metal sheets don't need to be as thick as plastic ones, in order to provide the necessary durability. There was a bit of flex, in the lid, but nothing out of the ordinary. The base, on the other hand, is super stable thanks to the honeycomb pattern on the inside. The weight and height are okay considering the dimensions of the device, sitting at 1.90 kg, 200 g lighter than last year's device, and 19.9 mm. The lid opens easily with a single hand, which signals the premium build quality of the laptop. The lid also has the Ergo Lift technology, if we can even call it that. What it does, is prop up the base of the device, so that the fans have more from to breathe. The design is also on point, with the lid having a dotted matrix design, that shines in different colors thanks to the prismatic film underneath. The branding isn't overdone, with only a small glossy Raj logo on the lid. Please remember, it would be of great help to us if you just hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. That would motivate us to make even more and better videos for you. While half of the RAM is soldered onto the motherboard, the rest is upgradable via one SOTOM slot. The RAM works in dual channel, so make sure you pick appropriate frequencies so that you can take full advantage of the performance of the laptop. As for the storage, there are two M.2 PCIe X4 drives, which make storage upgradability super easy readily available. If you need help in accessing the SOTOM or the M.2 slots, feel free to check out our detailed teardown video. It shows everything that you need to do in order to access the slots without damaging any of the components. The display of the Raj Zephyrus G15 has a diagonal of 15.6 inches, a full HD resolution, and an IPS matrix. It has excellent viewing angles, and a maximum brightness of 340 nits, with a deviation of 13%. The contrast ratio is great, sitting at 1350 to 1. Furthermore, the display covers 100% of the sRGB color gamut and almost matches the DCI-P3 gamut, resulting in an amazing image with vibrant colors. You also shouldn't be worried about your eyes, as the panel doesn't use PWM to adjust its brightness across all brightness levels. As for the color accuracy, we tested it both with the factory settings, left, and with our design and gaming profile applied, right. We got a delta E value of 2.2 when using our profile. The speaker setup is very well implemented on this device. There are a total of six speakers which are surrounding the device. There are two tweeters on the side of the keyboard, which are front firing, and the rest, which are four W woofers are put in couples firing in different directions in order to minimize case vibrations. Overall the setup is pretty well engineered. In our audio test, the speakers delivered clear and high-quality audio with no deviations across the entire frequency range. Overall the keyboard unit here is pretty good, but there are a few tiny things that keep it from becoming top tier, some of which are negligible for people. The unit has a long key travel and nice clicky feedback. It lacks a numpad but has a backlight, so you win some you lose some. Furthermore, the arrow keys are pretty tiny, which might be a deal breaker for some people. Fortunately, there are some dedicated keys for mic and audio control as well as the Raj Armory Crate. The power button also doubles as a fingerprint reader, upping the security of your device. 